Hello everyone and welcome back to Mindspence. I'm Craig and I want to thank you for taking some time with me today. Uh, this is a third episode on becoming more present. And today I have a really interesting topic that I want to talk about, which is this notion of time and timelessness. Um, people think presence is about time and actually in my view, presence is something that's outside of time. And I want to tell you a story about that. So let's do a quick stretch. Breathe in through your nose. Hold it for a second. And then release out through your mouth. Relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw. And I want to tell you a great story. So I had this dream about 20 years ago maybe longer actually, 25 years ago. And it always stuck with me, and I'm gonna tell you the dream real quick. So it goes like this, I'm walking in a desert, it's not particularly hot or anything, but I'm in a desert, and there's this uh, sort of opening into a cave. And I walk down these stone steps, and there's candles and whatnot. And as I get down the steps, I see there's sort of a room, and there's an old man at the back of the room, and, uh, and he's, has a, 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 he's weaving and uh, these tapestries. And there's, behind him is, is rolled up tapestries in like mailbox style, like in little boxes, mailboxes. And, uh, and he doesn't really pay much attention to me. I'm, I'm walking down and then there's this like gargoyle, scary creature who, lunges to attack me and, uh, and I fight with him and then he sort of disappears and then the, the old man looks at me and, and he offers me one of the scrolls and I ask him what is this and he said this is your life and I was sort of curious but I took this sort of rug scroll thing and I went up the other side and out back into the desert and I took it out and looked at it and it was all these sort of geometric patterns and sort of like a decision tree and with some pictures and whatnot but it was very sort of almost mathematical but clearly a decision tree where you had different branches going in different directions and I knew it had something to do with life and time and, and but I never really got to understand it until many 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 years later I was in uh, in bed and I woke up and sort of remembered this dream randomly and um, and I started thinking about it and it really became uh, something that I was trying to figure out like what, what why is this dream keep coming back and why do I keep thinking about this this tapestry and I meditated on it uh, for a few weeks and what it, I realized was that it's not life. It's really about a moment and how each moment, like a dream, like in a dream, you have a moment in a dream and it sort of has its own past, present, and future at the same time. And you're at a place and there's a history to that place and then you move somewhere else and it, that has its own world as well and what I realized is that each moment that we live and each action that we take has its own eternal place and history or time is really just us stringing those eternal moments together and calling it history or calling it a path and the point of all this is that putting all your energy and intention into each moment and stringing those things together from a certain perspective creates your view of the universe. And so you can change your view of the universe and you can change your path by looking at all those points from different perspectives. So you may look at sort of the negative things that have happened and, and view your life from that perspective or you can look at all the positive things or the energy levels you had or what have you 
And the idea is if you bring intention and positivity and, and clarity to each moment, that's the life you're going to create. And that's the world that you're going to, that's your past, present, and future all together. And so the, the presence is eternal. Presence doesn't have a place in, in time. And so what I want you to take away from this is that being present is about bringing all your energy and intention and a mindset to every moment, everything that you do. And, and as you do that, you'll realize that time starts to dissipate and you'll become very clear, very focused, have tremendous energy and tremendous peace. And so I wish everyone an incredible, incredible day. Live it with intention, live it with positive energy. Uh, be patient with yourself, be patient with others. And as you practice this, uh, it does get easier to do and you'll feel elated. And uh, so I wish you a great journey and I wish you a great day. And thank you very much for taking this time with me. And please uh, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel so you can see my other videos. And um, share it with people that you think would, would benefit from this. So again, thank you and have an awesome day.